application, guys. So this is all about the applications of the OpenCV. Now we will see the table of the content today, what we are going to study. So we are going to see how we can read the image, write the image, display it. What are the color spaces in, a, in an OpenCV? Yeah, yeah, we will go with it. It's unsupervised and supervised and supervised learning, right? Differentiating image colors. Uh, we will cover it in our stages. Okay. So image processing. So we will mainly talk about the image processing part in our OpenCV. So we will see how to read the image, how to write it, what are the color spaces, what is resizing rotation, how we can do it, uh, do it, what, what's the necessity of doing the resizing rotation, what is thresholding, image enhancement in an OpenCV, blurring, edge detection, contour detection, bitwide operation in an OpenCV, morphological operation in an OpenCV. And at the end of the session, we will cover two applications of the OpenCV. The first is face detection. The second is uh, road lane detection, which we use in, our, in the self-driving cars. So moving forward. So reading, writing and displaying of the image. So human being has a capability to see the image. So you see this image, the neuron got fired in your brain. So it says, yeah, it's a green capsicum. But how a computer can see the image? Uh, I guess everyone knows that the answer, the answer. So the answer is array of the pixels. So this is the pic, the computer can see, yes, this is a pic and we have a array of the pixels corresponding to this pic. The computer does, doesn't know whether this is a capsicum or this is a, this is a banana or anything else, but uh, it knows that this is the image and we have an array of pic pixels corresponding to that. So the first stage to building a, any classifier is to read the image. So how we can read it? So in OpenCV, we have a IM read function that help us to read the image. And I am so function to output the image. We will see the implementation part, part also along with. So since this is a RGB image, it has three channels. The one is go, uh, the one go for uh, R, the second is for B and third is for green. RGB stand for red, green and blue. So this part of the image has these pixels, right? So moving forward. So this is how we can implement it. So first we need to import the OpenCV library. How we can do the import? We can import the CV2. Here I import the CV2 as CV. The command we basically use for import uh, the library is CV. I guess I know you guys are aware of that. So this is the image. I specified, you have to specify the path of the image. And this is, and you can, uh, uh, use I am so to show the image. So this is how the image looks like. So the most important thing is the I am read function in the OpenCV read image in a VGR format. We have other libraries also. Other libraries use RGB format like matplotlib use RGB format. So that is uh, the important thing to, rem uh, to remember that I am read function read image in a VGR format. We can also pass extra flex in an IM read function. In or if if you want to uh, learn the if you want to read the image in different format. So uh, we have cm cv two dot IM read underscore color that is a default, and IM read underscore grayscale that is if you want to read the image in a grayscale format. So and this is IM read underscore unchanged. So basically, if you if your image have some sort of transparency in it, then you need to include one more additional channel that is called alpha channel. So uh, that's where we use the IM read underscore unchanged flag. So this is all.